Hello guys, and welcome to Let's Play Terraformer Craft. Now, with the recent update to Terraformer Craft, uh, the 59B, all old worlds are no longer, are, are pretty much broken, so you have to generate a new one. So currently I'm using build 63, and uh, beta build 63, and of course beta is beta, so everything is subject changed and stuff gets broken, so not really surprised. Um, so, yeah. We may be starting new worlds in the future, so I kind of I'm kind of against building permanent stuff until it's out of beta. Anyways, um, just so you guys hold off things, we're going with blank seed, we're gonna stick with whatever we get, unless it's in the middle of the ocean, of course, using TSC default world and cheats off and bonus chest off, because of course, bonus chest will corrupt the world. Using anything besides TFC default will corrupt the world. And allowing cheats, I'd only use for recording and recording sky shots and all that stuff. And I kind of rather do that legitly, even. It's aptly named LP World, and it's going to be in survival. Um, quick overview of the options on the config. I was originally going to be playing it twice the day length. Now it's one and a half times the day length, a um, 60 day a year, so five days a month. And because it's twice the day length that the new changes, it takes significantly longer for me, not twice, uh, one and a half times the day length, it takes significantly longer for me to heal. So, that's going to add another mechanic, plus I'm going to be playing on a hard mode. Anyways, these first two episodes will be mostly in cut and show you how I start out, and show you how I think you should start out, and show you, basically act as a tutorial as well, as a multi-part tutorial, showing you pretty much everything you'll need to know um, because I won't really start building until we have an apple anything besides a base shelter until we have an apple supply metal so during the first few minutes um, I concentrate a bit on some stuff so my commentary is going to suffer um, it's going to be long and boring I'll fast forward some parts and I will cut a few parts if they're if they're really bad but for the most part what you're going to be seeing is fast forwarded, um, uncut stuff, um, and it may be two or three episodes before we even get a pickaxe, uh, possibly. Um, this will also, you'll also be seeing this um, on, on RAR Inc. Uh, my uh, network, possibly. Um, it might be on both channels as well. Um, I've recently joined the network RAR Inc. Anyways, because it's going to take a second to load world and build the terrain, um, I'll continue commentating. Anyways, first thing we're going to do is, um, I'm not going to go over the new changes too much. Change logs are available on the site. You could go through, go there and read it yourself. But the health system has been changed. There's now thirst and all this stuff. So we've got jungle and we've got shitty ass rocks. God damn it. But conveniently, we have sheep, but we can't kill them until we get a stick because of the new damage system. You can't even punch a chicken to death anymore. It takes a ridiculous amount of time. Now, that blue bar you see below me is my thirst, and also, yes, it is going to be a bit laggy since I'm recording and it's generating a lot. So, that thirst, you could, determines your sprint now. You could only uh, sprint f until you're at 50% thirst. As you level up, you're able to... God, I'm always really paranoid about walking in this area, because mobs can spawn in the trees, of course, occasionally. So, we're getting basic tools here. We're getting our axe, our knife, and we're going to get a javelin as well, so we have some range of combat. These are the tools you should never leave home without, and because we've got shirt rock, or shit rock basically, um, we're not going to have very good tools. So, it takes three knife hits to kill a chicken now, which is kind of ridiculous, it used to just take one. So we're going to get a few more sticks. And we're going to kill some of these precious kapok trees. Now, the other thing is, is we don't need to farm sticks as much as we used to because a new feature added in build 63 allows you to smash logs, place logs of hammers, and get sticks from them. So this is... That broke our shovel, supposedly. Another change is, is, um, your, uh, your tool, your, not shovel, my act, uh, your tools will now take damage representative of how much wood you're actually cutting down. Oh my god, yeah, that gave us tons of wood. So we could smash that off a hammer for f further sticks. It's still good to gather some. So one of our main goals is to gather plenty of food. And, oh my god, stupid pig. Oh, and the side of its face is missing. So apparently they've toned down knives a bit. 
with the new damage system, which is good. And that's kind of overpowered beforehand. And now we need to gather some wool. Let's see if the javelins are any good. Uh, they don't seem too great. Uh, what do you expect with sunlight fields? We need to gather three wool for a bed, of course. So when we do find a shelter, we can set it up. Also, um, another change is is crops now grow wildly, so we can find wild crops for food now. My god, I'm gonna need a new knife already. Okay, so there's our three wool. Um, I think I'm gonna get this as well. And uh, leave the this white wool and leave the black wool because it'll be much better for um, for us because it'll free up more inventory space. So, gonna take some of our shitty ass shirt rock and make another knife, of course, because they are now a required tool to make at the beginning if you want to conserve any reasonable reasonable amount of food. So, now back to hunting. So, let's see. We're gonna want to try to find some squids, of course, gather more food, and explore a decent area. Okay, yeah, javelins are now the preferred way of obtaining, uh, of killing early on. Let's chop down one or two more of these clock trees, these smaller ones, of course, because we're gonna need tons of wood. Plus, it's a weird purple wood. And, let's see. Oh, great, yeah, my axe did break. And it just didn't update until then. So that's annoying. It's just wasting time. Let's see. I'm gonna have to gather more sticks as well now. And then we should be able to smash locks with a hammer to gather the rest if we're lucky. Come on. Yeah. It's also. Wood cutting has been nerfed a bit as well, too, in general. Making it even harder to farm wood. And making high level axes actually worth something. Floating vines. Neat. Um. Stupid pig. We need to. We need to get a variety of foods if possible because of the new meal system that they've added. And we need. I'm gonna make a handful of javelins, actually. Let's see. Three, two more should be good. And we'll just place them down there. Of course, we got rocks back. So we're, we, of course, want to hunt quite a few chickens early on to get a good stockpile of feathers. Because feathers are used for arrows, and arrows are amazing. Come back here, you stupid chicken. And... Let's see, let's kill this pig. So I could hit it with this lag. I don't know why I'm lagging. I almost never lag. And looks like one of our javelins broke. Great. Going through javelins like they're candy. Oh, no, it just lagged. I don't know why I'm so laggy. Anyways, let's see, where are we? We're at the equator, pretty much. So, if I remember correctly, it's Z that dictates the oh my god this is this is a weird looking place it's kind of cool I like it um if I remember correctly um why it's um x that dictates your proximity to the poles so that's good of course oh yeah also we need water water because of the thirst is now a requir requirement for wherever we set up shelter I should have grabbed water before we left Hop in the water. The way you drink is just by hopping into the um, into the water. Nice new type of rock. What is it? It is chalk. Great, another not a bad walk rock. At least this one is a flux, so this one could be useful to us. And here we go. We have some wild uh, barley, which was not grown enough to give us any barley, and instead just gave us the seeds. And what do we have here? We have barley. So. I don't know if you could put raw grains in, but um, it's helpful at least. So another thing is one of the changes is there is now a penalty for death. What are these? Ooh, garlic. So this will give us something we can add directly to our food to further enhance it. 
And these look like tomatoes, but they don't seem ripe. Okay, they're ripe enough. So, thankfully, with the additions of the wild crops, the meal system can be put into use immediately. Oh, there's another grain over there. That's neat. So, we have to determine what direction we're going to head. We could head either south, east, or west, or north. And personally, I like going north. And wow, we're getting low on water. We may want to start heading back, actually, just to refill our thirst. Because this area is a dry area, as you can tell by the parched grass. Meaning that crops have a harder time growing here. Um, agriculture has been some flood as well. Another note. Um, and it also means that water is, is less common. And don't tell me they fell off. Or did I get them? Okay, yeah, I got them. Yeah, getting close to the point where we can't sprint anymore. Now, how do you combat this? Well, you're able to make glass bottles, like you can in vanilla. And glass bottles can, of course, carry water. And water skins are to be added at a future point as well. Also, with the crops that spawn wildly, they act as if they're planted anywhere else. They'll eventually grow too old and use up the nutrients in the soil, pop off, and leave the drops and disappear. So, seeds are still obtainable through grass, though at a greatly reduced rate. So, god, we have to, we have to go through a damn jungle. More chalk. More pigs. Um, let's kill a few. Yeah, these two. And then we'll leave the rest just in the event we come back. So that way they can repopulate. And all that stuff. Oh my god, swords are going to be very useful now. The old hidden sword um, used to be basically a stone, a retextured stone sword for all intents and purposes. Now it's probably going to be amazing. And if you see me carefully avoiding ledges, again, it's because of the new health system. Any damage you take has a large impact. And nice some water. And as you can see, here's a bunch of... Oh, I thought they were uprooted. We got cabbages, though, which is kind of awesome. We have a decent variety of foods now to grow, and with this decent variety, um, we could also eat a portion, and because the soil nutrients are still in play, even though hydration is out, it allows us to have an ample number of crops for crop rotation. Also, um, in the previous build that I was playing um, before, you're unable to uh, obtain uh, you're unable to obtain seeds from the crops. Now you're able to. Um, so this gives us plenty of seeds to use as well. So we're going to make two things here, because there's some clay. We're going to make a shovel. I'm sure. And we're also going to make a, I guess, chalk, because we more of it. We're going to make a chalk hammer so we can get some more sticks. Just because I want to test, test this out. See if there's a certain tier of hammer required. And plus, um, it'll allow us to find a rock that is hard enough to use, of course, for smithing, which is something we need to look out for. And I'm going to get some cow here while we're at it, um, while we're here, because the more variety of foods we have, the better. Because the new meal system, which I'll get into when night falls and when we actually need to be concerned about it. As for night falling, because it's significantly more dangerous now, we need to find a safe place to make a shelter. I wonder, is this on the surface over here? Yes, it is. I screwed that in the water. We're only going to get a, about a stock or so. We should be able to find clay wherever we settle down. But we do need some early on. Um, we could also use it for pots and other stuff. Though we cannot transport water in the pots yet. So let's see, how much do I have? 25. I need significantly more. Yeah, I think I'm going to use up the stone shovel. Got plenty of wood in the form of the puck. It's not a very good wood. It's mainly a unique, a unique type of wood due to the fact that it's purple. And that's pretty much all it has going for it. Um, it doesn't burn very well, all that stuff. Um, you get tons of it, though. That's the other thing. But it isn't renewable, either. 
Okay, well, that's all the clay we're getting. Just under a stack. We're also gonna go grab some reeds, of course, because we need paper. Um, how many is that? That's six. Okay, yeah, that's plenty. Um, we have enough for some paper now. And this is a new type of rock. Rock salt rock. Another crappy rock. Is that a creeper or is that a plant? I can't tell. They're both uh, really bright green. Okay, let's see. What direction are we heading? We're heading in positive x, so we're heading north. That's good. Let's see. Sun. I don't know. We're heading... Okay, I guess it's been changed. It's, um... That's the Z now. So that's the west. That's the east. So that's north. So we're going to start heading north. And the sun's actually starting to set as well. So we should start looking for a place to make a camp. And I'll let you just sleep. Um... Not much to do during the night, um, right now, besides hunt a few spiders, and that itself is going to be a challenge. So, we're now in a plains biome. Uh, oh shit, another thing, I completely forgot. We should have gotten some sand while we were down at the coast. We need the sand for glass, obviously, and we need the glass for bottles. So, wherever you make a camp, it needs to be by some sort of water, so we could refill our thirst. Oh, shit, a fruit tree over there. Fruit trees, I think, have had their rarity increase slightly as well. So they're more worthwhile. Does this one have any branches I could take? Looks like it has two. Relatively young tree. See anything? Anything? God damn it. You suck, tree. Ooh, and pumpkins. These are a rare commodity in Terraforming Craft because you can't grow them. Um, unless they've changed something. But you've been unable to grow them. Let's see. Oh, well, the sun's really getting low. The axe works amazing on them. Oh my god. Is my inventory full? Oh, damn. Um, goodbye black wool, we'll take those seeds. And goodbye rock salt rock. We're taking these pumpkins, because I want pumpkins. I'm not sure if we could get pumpkin pie though, because of course it is a vanilla recipe. We do however have a ton of jack-o'-lanterns, which is awesome. Oh, and what is that? It's some sort of grain we don't have. Oh crap, what to ditch, what to ditch. Um, hmm, hmm, this is actually very bad. We'll ditch the shirt, we have more of the other rock. And wow, it is starting to get late, dark fast. Holy crap. That is really fast. So we're gonna head north, find a place with water that we could feel secure at, and not have to dig into the side and make a little dirt wall and defend it for lives. Now this area is looking a bit better, it's a bit dry, but it's more open, meaning we can see for a little while. So don't have room for those seeds, but oh well. Let's see, let's get these tomatoes, I think we'll set up camp up over there. At whatever that that is. Let's see. Apparently back to chalk. Yeah. This looks like an okay area. What are these are peppers, I think. Oh no, these are beans. Um crap. Um we don't need that javelin right now. I think these are more garlic, yes. We have that. And wow, I'm getting some pretty bad lag. This is really unusual. I think this is a good area to set up our camp. So of course we need a fire starter. We need a crafting bench. I'm just going to toss that out for now. 
And we're going to need some planks as well, which I'll just make a ton of. So there's our crafting table. Let's get our nearly dead axe back, and let's see, we should be able to let's use this one. Um, okay, well that finally worked. So we're supposedly able to get... Let's put DMI on, I should be on hard. Yeah, there, it's hard. I don't see any mobs. Ooh, another fruit tree. Should be able to smash it into sticks. Using the hammer. Yeah, it's breaking it slowly. I wonder if this is going to use up the hammer though. Isn't a bad thing. It gives us a single stick. That sucks. So we're gonna set up. God damn it! Didn't want to double place it. Oh well. Well, we can get more sticks this way. Gonna set this up in a log pile until we get our fire going. To. So, yeah, this isn't the most efficient way to get sticks, obviously. But it could work. Why is it not working? That is weird. I guess it has to be upright, like that? Yeah. That's weird. Oh, there's all the mobs. Oh my god, there's a spider jockey right over there. Fuck me. Well, if I hear anything, I'm pretty much going into combat mode. I haven't even made armor yet. Oh, well, that gave us two sticks. So I guess that's one to two sticks or so. Speaking of armor... Oh sh okay, I thought we only had nine leather. That would have been very bad. And apparently I missed a piece. So let's get this on. And oh my god, those are getting those guys are getting upsettingly close. Or it might just be my FOV. Throwing me off. Either way, I don't like it. And we now have a decent set of armor. Now, let's see. Let's get some paper. Oh my god, that looks really, really sketchy when I'm looking like that. Oh my god, they look way too close. Um, I might turn my turn my view distance down just because of that. So let's start cooking some food. And yeah, I'm going to turn my FOV yeah, down to normal, I guess. Actually, no, this is way too limited. I can't play it like that. Um, let's see, 80 should be good. Now let's see, we need we need some food now. So this is an introduction to the meals meal system. We're gonna set down I think we will use a Oh my god, that's actually pretty close. We're gonna set down a piece of rock. God damn it. For whatever reason, it is double clicking, which is getting annoying. And we're going to right click, and that gives us a preparation surface. surface. This now allows us to combine foods and other items in order to create a meal. Said meals have added benefits as well. So for example, this meal gives us tons of energy but doesn't fill us up very much. But we could also double 
what we get out of it. Oh god, my inventory is still too crowded. Um, what is that? Oat seeds? Screw you, oats. Um, we're gonna throw away... Oh god, that clock burns fast. Holy crap. Anyways, we now have this meal, and we're actually gonna... Oh, hi, spider. Oh, that's lag. Yeah, I, I win, spider. I win. I have the low ground. Which is the exact opposite of what's supposed to be. Nice, we got two string. Now we can either use that to fish, or we can... I'm gonna toss most of these grains. We're gonna keep wheat, and I think we're gonna keep the barley. Oh, hi, Skelly. You are not who I wanted to see. Yeah, as you can see, that much damage is a lot for right now. Oh my god. I I have no weapons. I have to I have to get I have to get out of here. Let's see, find something, find something, hammer. It's hammer time, bitch. Let's see, come on. Now this damage will take about a day to heal this amount of damage so far. Oh my god. Fighting is sketchy this early on. Holy shit. Ugh. Yeah, that's gonna take me forever to heal off. So let's see, we could warm this meal in here, but again, if it gets too hot, um if it gets too hot, it um will be lost. So we're gonna let it get to warm a little bit. And now it shows a protection on there as well. And when we eat it, it gives us the bull back, and occasionally it will give us a buff. This one did nothing but replenish our hunger. I'm still, there's still a disturbing lack of sand. Which we desperately need to transport water. Anyways, let's get my inventory in order now. We're gonna make me a bed. Throw away that arrow. We can make dozens of them now. We're also gonna keep the maze, I guess. We're gonna keep this down there. We're gonna make a handful of meals. We're gonna cook all our chicken because that's what we have the fewest of. And we'll get rid of that clock, I guess. Let's see. Get rid of. Yeah, we could get rid of that fire starter as well. And yeah, we're gonna make some, we're gonna make some meals with what we have multiples of. We're gonna add one chicken. We're gonna have two chicken ones. We're gonna have do I have cabbage seeds? Yes, I do. Chicken, cabbage, garlic, and let's see. Can I add wheat? No, I cannot. And green beans. We'll create a meal. So meals retain their effects throughout. Um, throughout the seed as well, and similar meals stack. So, that's useful. Um, let's see, let's just make one of that. Apparently that does not, it doesn't need enough requirements. Um, which is weird. Anyways. We don't have two of those meals. Um, we can make, actually, we can't make any more, we don't have any more cabbage. Let's see, we'll add chicken, tomato, um, garlic, and green beans. And there's not a similar meal, so it cannot stack. And the ingredients will stay in there, and they'll actually render on there if you give it time to let it. We'll make some steak, and I'm pretty sure you can make meals out of all, all four meats. I'll need the bowl as well in there. And there we go. We now have four meals. And we have some decent food. Now all that's left is... A re oh god, I only have one stick, and I don't have a hammer. And this is going to be annoying. Let's throw those into the water. Oh my god, my armor took a beating too. Hmm. 
I'm going to sleep through the rest of this night at this point. But I think it would be best for us to be productive and keep on cooking. With these meals, though, we don't have to worry too much. Basically, this amount of food should last us one or two years with my current settings. Let's see, we're in early spring, it's the 1st of March. And on the 6th day, it will be, what is it, January, February, March, April. It'll be April, meaning I think certain trees will come into bloom, actually. I'm not sure. Anyways, I think these episodes are going to be about a day apiece for now, um, until we find our home, so... So, yeah. Let's see. Let's just keep picking our steak. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to end it off here. While it's nice and relatively calm and somewhat safe. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that sunrise. Yeah, I think we're going to call it here. Um, with this beautiful sunrise going. And those deadly, deadly spiders over there. Just she since we have no weapons. Actually, gonna make a javelin. Javelins are now the preferred weapon, I guess. Knives are back to being cool. Anyways, with this awesome sunset, I'm gonna leave you guys off here. That's it, that's all. I'll see you guys next time.